Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry it's been about three weeks, but uh, now finals are over and I'm done for the semester with grad school, so it's time to get back and making some more videos uh, semi-regularly. So today we're taking a look at a pretty simple virus called RamDial, and this virus pretty much infects the files in the current directory and affects a few files like the calculator and paintbrush.exe and the Windows directory, just some more common Windows utilities so that there's a higher chance that you will run those infected files. So when we run it now, We'll get a, um, I haven't set up the internet connection properly, so we'll just go ahead and set that up really quick. But it uh, tries to open a Internet Explorer window to Google, actually. And it does so in a oddly appropriately enough way, where it will use the uh, hacker lead speak language setting for Google. If it loads. It likes to take a while. There we go, so we got the search... Search for RAM dial. See what we have to find here. Creating a RAM file. Did you mean RAM dial spelled differently? Oh, here's my video. Nice. But this is a remake video, of course, and now you can truly see all the fun stuff behind this virus. So the virus activates on three dates, the 7th, 17th, and 22nd of every month when it changes your desktop background. To RAMLide. RAMLide virus, copyright 2002 by Lightsys. I'm not sure you're actually allowed to copyright a virus, so it's kind of tricky there. And this is a pretty good example of how virus, uh, antivirus companies will change the name in their detections, sort of as not to give the virus writer the notoriety that they seek. They're not calling it by his naming conventions, they switched the word around, and now they're calling it by what they decided. So this will still be here even if you were set. If we go ahead and do that, we'll see that the uh, effect is it stays. And you can change your background, but every uh, 7th, 17th, and 22nd, whenever you run a infected file, it will change your background again. And we're using Windows 2000 just for fun, because we don't use Windows 2000 enough for these videos. I hope you like the Mega Man background. Alright, boot back into Windows, we got the basic uh, background here, but as it loads your user profile and everything, loads back into the uh, virus screen. So it doesn't delete any files. Removal of the screen is as easy as switching away from the RAM-lide uh, bitmap that it drops to whatever you want. And there you go. So it infects files should probably be removed with an antivirus, but isn't incredibly dangerous or damaging or anything like that. And that is about it for the RAM dial Windows virus.